Hello, hello. How are you today, guys? Good night. Good, well, it's good evening still. Good evening. How are you guys? You good? Kind of. Good night, teacher. Good night. <laughs> All right. Catherine, hello, hello. How are you doing? Hello, I am so-so. Mm, kind of. Más o menos, kind of. Mm -hmm. Kind of. All right, guys. So that's pretty good. So do you guys have any question at the moment? Any question that you would like to, to ask? Or um, I don't know, anything, any doubt that you might have or anything like that? Yes, no, could it be? Mm -hmm. What do you think? No, no questions, yes. No? Okay. So, now guys, um, as you, uh, well, as I told you yesterday, actually, um, you know, we actually have a, I will say the, um well it's not really a well I, this is actually like the one of the last classes because tomorrow we actually finish you know the um i would say the level right and that's pretty much what what i wanted to say right so um by tomorrow we're going to be done with this and what i wanted to say is that um like for example if you are going to um you're going to have to finish your uh exam which is the final exam that's going to be by uh, tomorrow midnight you have to have everything completed so we should be good you know after that right so that's actually what i wanted to say right um so let me actually share the phrase for today so you guys can think about it and so you can give an opinion about the phrase again i mean the reason why i do the phrases is just for you to to practice speaking you know to practice uh, speaking english it's not because it's not about you reflectionating about your life or anything like that you know so that's that's not that's not the point i mean if you want to do it that's okay but i don't do it with that purpose i just do it with a purpose that you guys can talk a little more and so let me share my screen right here. Give me a second. All right. Okay. Can you guys see my screen right now? Yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay, so that is the phrase for today, guys. What do you think about the phrase? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Any opinion? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes. Les voy a dar un par de, de minutos ahí para que puedan preparar su super um, participación, <laughs> opinión. <laughs> All right, so you can share your super opinion about that. All right, so you guys let me know. So it says, once you choose hop, anything's possible. Like if I have to translate it in Spanish, it will be something like, Una vez eliges la esperanza, cualquier cosa es posible. That's what the phrase says, you know. <laughs> That's what the phrase says. So, you guys tell me what you think about it. You can tell me about that. In my case, I am absolutely agree because um I can say that all is possible if I can do. Okay, okay. So, yeah, you know, so everything is possible if you can do it. You know, everything is possible if you just want to um I mean if you believe that you can do it, you know. That's 
pretty much what it is. All right. Mm -hmm. Tell me, tell me, Catherine. Tell me, tell me. Believe in myself. Yes, believe in yourself. You know, that is very important because that's the way it goes. You know, I mean, you guys have to believe in what you can do and then you're going to be good with that, you know? So, yeah. All right. Okay, no problem. All right, so... Uh huh. Anything else? Any? Thank you, Catherine. Thank you for your opinion. Anyone else, guys? Mm -hmm. Any other opinion? Mm -hmm. Feel free to say anything, guys. I mean, you're good. Any, alguna otra opinión, chicos? Siéntanse libres. Si, no tengan pena. Don't worry. Just say anything you want to say. One more opinion, at least. At least one more. Aunque sea una más. At least one more opinion. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Everything is possible with God. Mm, I like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything is possible with God. Yes. I mean, that's for sure. You know, I'm a believer. You know, I believe in that, actually. Um, if you get God with your, with your, on your side, then, you know, everything is possible, right? Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Omar. Okay. Okay. Pretty good. So, I don't think we have any... Um, any other opinion or I don't know, you guys tell me if there is any other opinion that you guys have. Okay. Um, okay, give me a second here. Okay. All right. Now, before we continue, guys, I like to take the attendance. So just give me a second right here. Okay, let me just move it up here. And okay, give me a second. Okay, so I'm going to uh, call the attendance right now. If you guys hear your name, uh, just say present or I'm here, you know, something like that. Okay, so let's see. All right, today is 12th. So I'm going to start right now with, let's see. Give me a second, guys. It's just giving me a little problem there. Okay, um, I don't, I don't know more. Chad, probably he's coming. Ada Lisette. Okay. Uh, Ana Beatriz. Okay. Ana Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. Ana Noemi. Presente. Carlos Marinid. Gonzalo del Rosario. Present. Thank you. Uh, Elida Maritza. Okay, then we go with uh, Flor de María. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jasmine uh, Magdalena. Present. Thank you so much. Okay, Joana Guadalupe. 
Present. Mm -hmm. uh, Jonathan Alexander. Present teacher. Jose Ismael. I hear teacher. Thank you. Jose Salvador. Catherine Tatiana. I am here. Thank you so much. All right, let's go with Kenny Guadalupe. Present. All right, thank you so much. All right, let's go with Marilyn Yvonne. Uh, Marlene Concepcion. Okay, Marvin Omar. Okay, uh, Nidia Jamilet. I'm here. Thank you, Nixia. I am here. Thank you, Omar Luzardo. Present. Thank you so much. Let's go with Rebecca Beatriz. Present. Right, uh, Reina Lisette. Ricardo Alfonso, Rosario Cristabel, Wilber Enrique. I'm here. Present. Okay, got it, Rosario. All right, thank you, Wilber. Eh, Jessica Abigail. Yesenia, present. My bad. I'm sorry. Yesenia. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, and then we go with Selena. Present. All right, thank you. I see. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah, I see. Ya veo que se unieron los demás ahí. Um, Present teacher. Excuse me. All right, yeah, I got Carlos. I got Aaron. Okay. Benitez, present. Ahí se me fue la señal. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here, okay? All right. Uh, so, all right, guys. So, you know, we are going to start with uh, what we said, uh, you know, I mean, pro not, not a start, but we're going to continue with what we just uh, left, you know. Yesterday, if you guys remember, uh, we were actually talking about what? Well, we were talking about uh, the... We said that we were going to start talking about the uh, WH questions with the present continuous, right? So uh, that was a phrase that we have for today. And so that's uh, what we talked about already. But, you know, this is what we were talking about, okay? So just to remember a little bit, now I'm going to play the video just one more time. But I need you guys to um, listen and repeat if you if you have to repeat, okay? So in the cases where you have to repeat. So let's go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer present continuous questions. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation between a boy and his mother, which illustrates WH questions in context. Let's listen and practice. Hi, Mom. What are you doing, Steve? I'm cooking. Why are you cooking now? It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm really hungry. What are you making? Pizza. Mmm, pizza. Now I'm getting hungry. Let's eat. Now, let's try to make sense of present continuous WH questions. We will typically use present continuous WH questions whenever we want to get information from an action that is in progress. For example, what are you doing right now? To form WH questions, we need to follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. If we look at the images on the screen, you can see a few WH questions. Let's analyze the first one. 
what's Victoria doing? We have a WH word, what? Then we have the verb to be, is. After that, we have the subject, Victoria. After that, we have the uh, verb in its ing form. And then we have a question mark. Then, of course, you can see the question being answered. She's sleeping now. Now, we're going to listen to the rest of the questions and answers. Let's listen and repeat. Los Angeles, 4 a.m. What's Victoria doing? She's sleeping right now. Mexico City, 6 a.m. What's Marcos doing? It's 6 a.m., so he's getting up. New York City, 7 a.m. What are Sue and Tom doing? They're having breakfast. Brasilia, 9 a.m. What's Celia doing? She's going to work. London, 12 noon. What are James and Anne doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Moscow, 3 p.m. What's Andre doing? He's working. Bangkok, 7 p.m. What's Permsak doing? He's eating dinner right now. Tokyo, 9 p.m. What's Hiroshi doing? He's watching television. Your city. What are you doing? It's... So I'm... The last thing that I would like for you to do is to look at the images again and write questions and answers about them. For example, what's Celia wearing? Celia's wearing a red suit. After you complete this assignment, please share your work in our discussion forums. All right. So that's what we want to do right here. And as I was telling you, uh, you know, one of this, uh, well, it was yesterday, actually, that um, we just need to focus on this structure, you know. What we need to focus on when we talk about the structure with the um, WH questions uh, with uh, the present continuous is that we just need to follow certain elements. As he was explaining on the video, the first thing that we need for a question, for a, uh, sorry, for a WH question, that is what? That is the what do we need? What is the first thing? Because la primera cosa que necesitamos para hacer una WH question with the present continuous. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué es lo primero que va en una pregunta? WH. WH. The WH word. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so what are the WH words that we have? Well, we have what. We have where, when, how, why, who, you know. I mean, we got different ones, right? So um, let me reload this here. So that's what we need. And so just remember the structure. Their structure is going to be, you know, the WH word plus, you know, what? The verb be. Okay, plus what? The subject plus uh -huh. the oh. verb in the complement. ing form plus the complement. Mm -hmm. Plus the complement. So that's pretty much. For example, what are you doing right now? Okay. What are you doing right now? And then it says the WH word. Uh huh. So here we have the WH word, the bird to be. Yes, we have the bird to be right here. The subject. Yes, we have you, which is the subject. The verb in the ing form. Oh, yes, we have it here. Do, doing, right? And the complement. 
right now. Yes, so we have it. And we also need to add the question mark. Okay, so that is, guys, the struct. My bad. That is a structure that you guys need to follow in order to make a question, right? Not just the normal question, but a WH question with the present continuous, right? And there we have some examples here, you know, as we were working and talking about that. Now, let me just show you this right here. Okay. And so this is what we have right here. Okay, right here. Now, if you see, they are following the same structure, okay? As you can see, we're following the same structure. And that's actually what we need to follow, okay? For example, right here, we say, okay, we got some examples and we say, um, what's Victoria doing? So we get the WH word, tenemos la WH word, tenemos el verb to be aquí, which is is, tenemos el subject, que es Victoria, y el verb in ING, okay? El verbo en ING es el present continuous form, que está en la forma continua. Ahora bien, ese mismo verbo puede ser el complemento, okay? En ese caso, that is what is acting as a complement, okay? So puede tener... Eh, Estos tres debe tenerlos. WH, verb to be, subject, well, four actually, and the verb in ING form. So that's what you have to have. So, incluso si yo digo, what are you doing? We're good. Okay. It's like WH word, the verb to be, subject, verb in ING. What are you doing? Okay is pues, we can say, what is she doing? Okay, remember, remember guys, that you can do a contraction right here, okay? What's she doing? Okay, what's she doing, right? We got the subject there, we got the subject and the verb in ing. So, it's the same, es lo mismo como que dijera, what's Victoria doing, right? I mean, we got the subject there and everything. So, um. Let me check something here. All right. Okay. All right. Now, um, now that's basically what we need to do. Now, right here, because it is, um, I would say, um, it is basically, a WH question, it will actually require, um, you know, a, um, not a yes or no answer, but it will require you to give more information. Entonces, como es una WH word o también, una, uh, perdón, en WH question o también como una um, information question, no vamos a decir sí ni no, sino que aquí sí vamos a dar más información. Y la respuesta acá de esta, ¿cuál es? What's Victoria doing? He's sleeping right now. Okay. Uh-huh. She's sleeping right now. Boom, you know? But um, that's basically what we have to do. Why? Because, you know, we are not going to say yes or no. ¿Qué está haciendo Victoria? Sí. No. <laughs> no, right? We're not going to say that. Okay, so we need to give more information, right? Tenemos que dar más información, right? That's what we need to do. So, and then it's just like, what's Marcus doing? And, you know, it's at 6 a.m., so he's getting up, okay? And that's basically what we are doing right here, okay? So, then we can go with the next questions, you know, like, what are Zoo and Tom doing? And then we say, they're having breakfast. Why they? Because we're talking about Sue and Tom, two people. Son dos personas, right? So then we say they. They're having breakfast. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. Um, okay. Any um, 
I would say like any any other question. Uh, I'm sorry, any question about that? That's what I wanted to say. Any question about that? Yes, no, could it be? Mm -hmm. No? ¿Alguna pregunta sobre eso, chicos? Teacher, una pregunta. El, el do en, en su normalidad es hacer. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí. Doing, doing es haciendo algo así. Haciendo. haciendo, ajá. Ok, pero el das, ¿en qué se convierte? Ok, ahí se convierte en un auxiliar. Pero ese es un tema que vamos a ver todavía, pero ya casi. Ah. <ríe> ajá. Eh, pero es, bueno, básicamente eh, lo usamos en... How, we, how can we say that? En el simple present. Es otro tiempo eh, verbal que es el presente simple. Pero sí, ahí vamos a hacer la diferencia de, de qué es qué, ¿ok? Pero sí, cuando es das, puede ser, puede ser actuando como un auxiliar o podría ser que está conjugado con la tercera persona singular. Pero otra vez, no se preocupen sobre eso todavía. Ya en el momento. Claro, bueno. <ríe> Ahorita <ríe> todavía no. <ríe> okay. Pero muy buena pregunta. Yes, it's a good question. Uh -huh. Vamos a llegar a eso. Ya en el siguiente nivel. Mm -hmm. You're going to see that. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. that, but that's what it is. I mean, it's a good question, actually. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Uh -huh. ¿Alguna otra pregunta, chicos? ¿Algo por ahí? No. Yes, could it be? Okay. Um, now, this is what we're going to do right now. We are going to ask the questions that are right here. So, basically, expecting one of your classmates to give the answer. For example, I'm going to ask right now, Nixia, what's Marcos doing? Now, Nixia, you give me the answer, this answer right here. Spani, please. Span? No, no, no. I mean, just, just, um, what's Marcus doing? What's Marcus doing? Mm -hmm. He will have the answer. It's 6 a.m. So, da -da 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 -da. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry, teacher. Bye. Solo lo que tiene que hacer es leer lo que está aquí. What's Marcos doing? Aquí tenemos la respuesta. It's 6 a.m. So, he's... Ok, solo puede aumentar la pantalla. Ah, sí, sí, claro, claro. Ajá. Porque he estado viendo por teléfono por el teléfono. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ah, got, ajá, it, okay. got it, got it, got it. Ok, what about now? Is it better? Ah, uh, uh -huh. What's Marcos doing? X at 6 a.m. 6 a.m. A.m. Uh huh. So he's getting out. Getting, getting up. Getting out. Getting up. Mm -hmm. Getting up. Okay. Now, uh -huh. Nixia, ask this question to one of your classmates, to Marcos, to Nidia, to Rebecca, to any of your classmates. I don't have any okay. friends here. I know that, but. Uh -huh. Nidia. Nidia, Yamile. What? Is... What? What are you? In... Wilbur. Don't. 
Ah, uh, esta misma pregunta podemos hacer. Solo leerla. What are Sue and Tom doing? Mm -hmm. The same one. What are Sue and Sam? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What are Sam and Tom doing? Die. They are having very facts. Okay. Good. Now let's go with the next one, please. Omar Luzardo, what Celia doing? She's going to work. Mm -hmm. Now you continue, Omar, please. Jonathan, what are James and Ain doing? It's noon, so they're having lunch. Okay, what about here? Carlos Vladimir, what's Andrew doing? He's working. Okay. Now let's go with the next one here. We're waiting for you, Carlos. I'm sorry. Uh, what's Permsak doing? Uh, media. He's eating dinner right now. He's eating dinner right now. Mm -hmm. He's okay. eating right now. Um, what you know doing? He is what watching television. Television. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, Rosario, ask this question to somebody else. Okay. What are you doing? What? What are eh, you doing? Uh, ver. To. Aaron Montoya. Tú es como decir a, a fulanita, tu fulanita, mm -hmm. to. Ah, bueno, entonces comienzo de nuevo. Yes, please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Lo siento. No, no, it's ah, okay, don't worry. Um, Aaron Montoya, uh, what are you doing? Oh, ¿cómo? Oh, doing, así. Yes, sure. yes, yes, you got it. Bueno, gracias. Uh -huh. Ajá, Aaron, what are you doing? I am uh it's so I am tal vez está como si qué estoy haciendo yo sí 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 uh -huh. yeah I mean exactly porque acá está como el ejemplo es como it's es como si son las oh, entonces yo so, estoy so I am um in, in class oh yeah in the class like no yes but we have to use the present continuous okay use the present continuous i am the, i am um porque le están preguntando qué está haciendo o sea ahorita mismo entonces usted tiene que decir yo estoy haciendo tarara, o yo estoy comiendo o yo estoy gritando yo estoy no sé something ¿Ah? qué está haciendo con la clase ahorita tomando la clase I have it um it will be taking it's better to say taking mm -hmm. um, I am taking uh, taking Class. Taking the class. Taking class. Take, mm -hmm. Taking class. Okay. 
I'm taking class. I'm taking class. Mm -hmm. Or I'm taking the class. It's okay. The so you class, can say. Right now. Uh -huh. okay. Right, right. Yeah. You know, let's say, I'm taking classes. Like if you want to say it in plural, or oh. if you want to make it in singular, it will be, I'm taking my English class, for example. Okay. Boom. And that's it. Okay. Perfect. I'm taking my English class. Okay. All right. And that's what it is. So, guys, these are uh, what we call, not what we call, but these are basically, you know, the um, WH questions with the present continuous. So, that's what we need to uh, remember, okay? Now, here we have a few more questions. And today, really, it's going to be just about asking a few questions, you know, uh, I mean, it will be just practice a little speaking today because um, that's something I really like to do with you, which is practice um, speaking. You know, we really need to work on that. And so here we have this other practice. And it says, ask and answer the questions about the pictures. Okay. Which is something we already did. Okay. So that's actually what we were doing. For example, uh, who's sleeping now, guys? Mm -hmm. Who is sleeping? De las, based on the images right here, ¿quién, ¿quién está sleeping? Who is sleeping? Uh, Victoria. Okay. Who said that? ¿Quién dijo eso? Kenny? Okay. So, Kenny, what? Okay, but, pero déme la respuesta completa. Okay, who is sleeping? Hmm? Mm, she's Victoria sleeping. No necesitamos she, se lo digamos Victoria. O con it. Ah, Victoria. Victoria sleeping. Is sleeping. Victoria is sleeping. Ah, ok. Ajá. Porque es una, vamos a dar una uh, respuesta y esa respuesta va a ser como una Uh, oración afirmativa con el uh, present continuous. Victoria is sleeping. Okay. Okay. Now you, Kenny, ask the question number two to one of your classmates, please. Ask that question to one of your classmates. Um, who's having break, breakfast to... to... Omar Luzardo, Omar Aron, Mar uh -huh. um, We get two Omars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hay tres. Um, Omar Luzardo. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sue and Tom Breakfast. Mm -hmm. We are missing, we are missing something. Now, It's okay, don't worry, don't worry, we're learning. Okay, if we say Sue and Tom, Tom, breakfast, we are missing something here. Hmm? We are missing something. And let's see what we are missing. Okay, it says, give me a second here. Okay, anyways, we got Sue and Tom right here. If we say that, just like that, we are missing Sue and Tom. Let's see, let's see actually what we need. Uh, for affirmative sentences, we need the subject plus the verb be plus verb in ing or the complement as well. Okay, so Sue and Tom is our subject. Sería nuestro sujeto, right? Para hacer una oración afirmativa, nos faltaría que. The verb be. The verb be. And what's the form that we can use, Omar Luzardo? What can we use? Uh, 
Sue and Tom? Sue and Tom is breakfast. Mm -hmm. Our breakfast. Our breakfast. Okay. We're missing one more thing. We're missing one more thing. Okay. Nos falta una cosita más. Sue and Tom are. Okay. Are okay. eating. Are eating. eating or having as well. You can say having or eating. Podemos decir eating, aunque normalmente cuando se habla de comer un tiempo de comida, la gente dice have o having. Okay. Ahora sí. Sue and Tom are having or eating breakfast. Porque si se lo decimos, Sue and Tom, breakfast. Mm -mm. Y si se lo decimos, Sue and Tom are breakfast, es como que si ellos son el desayuno. <laughs> ok, so we gotta be careful with that. Ok, so recordemos la estructura para las uh, affirmative sentences with the uh, present continuous. Ok, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, Omar, now you do me a favor. Ask uh, the next question to one of your classmates. Okay. Uh, where where Andre working, Catherine Tatiana? Where's, Catherine Tatiana. Where's Andre and uh, Andre yes. working? Where's mm -hmm. Andre working? He's working at Moscow. Okay, pretty good. He's working at Moscow. All right. Okay. So, Catherine, go with the next one, please. Okay. And... That is number four. Where's... Yes. Uh -huh. uh, my question. Just, just ask the question. Solo pregúntele a, a alguno ahí. La, okay. la número cuatro, number four. Got it? Where's Hiroshi watching television? Okay. Yes. To whom? Ana Flores. Okay. And Ana Flores. Mm -hmm. Ana, Ana, hello, hello. Are you here? Hi. Mm -hmm. So where's Hiroshi watching television? Okay, can you ask somebody else, Catherine, please? Okay, okay. And Ana Beatriz, where is she watching television? Okay. It's gotta be an Ana, right? <laughs> Teacher, show the image, please. It's not showing? No. No ven mi pantalla ustedes? Eh, sí. Eh, las ah, imágenes. The, the images right here. This one's okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. I got it. Let me just make it a little smaller so you can see them all at the same time. Okay. Let's see. You should be able to see them now. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, Jonathan, Jonathan Guillen. Number four, Jonathan. Can you ask the question again, Catherine, please? Okay. Where's Hiroshi watching television? Mm 
Where's Hiroshi watching television? Maybe nothing. Wanted to help me. <laughs> Sorry? Maybe nothing. Uh, Wanted to help me. Yeah. <laughs> no. No sean así. Háblenle a Catherine, hombre. <laughs> Nadie me quiere hablar. Dice. <laughs> Hey, don't be like that, guys. Mm -hmm. Can you help me, teacher? Uh, okay. Respuesta. Inventémonos en un lugar, pues vaya. ¿Dónde cree usted que está él? Vea la, la imagen ahí. Uh, he is in Tokyo. He is? He is in Tokyo. Uh, perdón, Jonathan, no le puedo escuchar. He's watching television. Ajá. Tokyo. ¿Dónde, dónde? A mí me parecería que este brother Hiroshi está watching television en la sala de su casa. Probably. So, mm -hmm. how do you say sala in English? Living room. Living room. Mm -hmm. Living room. O oh, en el bathroom, vaya, pues, ¿Sí? si quiero. Uh -huh. Ajá, ni, Nixia, telas, telas, ajá. Um, he watched TV in living room. Mm, oh. The, uh, the verb in ING form. He is? Oh. He is? Watch? Living room. Uh-uh. -uh. TV. Here's watch watching. Mm -hmm. Let's go, let's go, Nidia. Let's go, Nixia. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Oops. Ya casi lo tiene. Ya casi lo tiene. Se me fue. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> He's watching television. In in the in living the room. room. Mm -hmm. In the living room. Okay. Por eso les decía, acordémonos de la estructura que usamos para dar una respuesta afirmativa, ok, o dar una oración, perdón, o hacer una oración con el simple press, uh, perdón, con el present continuous, sería subject, verb to be, verb in ing, and complement. Okay, siempre que sigamos esto, no problem. Ok, for example, Sue and Tom are having or eating breakfast. Sue and Tom sería el sujeto, el verb to be sería are, el verb in ing, Sería having or eating. Eh, y complement podría ser breakfast. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the next one. What's Celia wearing? Uh, Aaron Omar. What's Celia wearing? Let me just move it up a little bit. Celia Brasilia. Wearing. Remember what? Celia, mm -hmm. Celia um, wearing. Uh, Celia. Celia is wearing. Is wearing. Uh -huh. um, dress. Uh, dress. Okay, you can say Celia is wearing a dress red. Al revés. Red dress. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Celia is wearing a red dress. dress. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Yeah. A uh, sweet dress. Sweet. Red sweet dress. Como un traje. Un traje. Entonces, ya no digamos dress. Solo digamos traje. Suit. 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 Eh, suit. Red suit. 
Mm -hmm. That's sweet. Okay. okay. Ah, so you got it. Now, can you ask the next question, please? Number uh, six. Marcos. What's Marcos wearing? Oh. Ana Flores. Ana, are you here? Hello, hello. No, yes. Okay, thank you, Wilbur. Thank you for helping us. Thank you. Wilbur wants to do it. Wilbur quiere, quiere que le pregunte a Aaron. <laughs> What's Marcos wearing? Okay, what's Marcus wearing, Wilbur? Donde aparece Marcos? In English, where is Marcos? Hmm. Right here. Picture ah. number two. La, la pregunta era? The question is... Number six, what's Marcus wearing? Um, she, no, I, he, he's wearing um, pijama, no sé cómo pronunciar eso. Pajamas. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo? Dígame entonces, teacher, how do you pronounce? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Yeah. <laughs> how do you pronounce? How do you pronounce? Y si no puedes decir la palabra, te le treme. <laughs> como yo como se le treme, ¿verdad? <laughs> how, how, how do you pronounce uh, pijama? <laughs> ok, pajamas. Pijama. Pajamas. Yeah. So... He's wearing pajamas. 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 Mm -hmm. Me cuesta, me cuesta. Don't worry, it's okay. We will get it. You will get it. Just don't give up. Solo siga diciéndolo y a ver, después lo va a decir. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. okay. Okay, now, Wilbur, ask question number seven, please, to Consuelo. Ah, uh, Consuelo, okay. Why, why is Marcos... Marcos wearing up. Getting up. Getting, getting, getting. Mm -hmm. Why is Marcos getting up? Mm -hmm. Why is Marcos getting up? And then you can say Marcos. Da -da -da -da. Okay, podría decirme algo así como Marcos está levantando porque. Because, es porque. Porque son las seis. Okay, in English, in English. Let's go in English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Marcos, get up. Um, Marcos. Is. Mm -hmm. Get up. Mm -mm. Present continuous. El present continuous. It's here. Get, getting. Getting up. Mm -hmm. Marcos is getting. Um, getting up. Mm -hmm. um, because. Because. Uh, six in. Porque son. Le falta decir son. Aquí está, mire, because, because uh, it's, because it's, six, six a.m. A, a.m. In the morning. Okay, or six in the morning. Mm -hmm. Good job. All right, thank you, Consuelo. Now, ask the next one, number eight. Um. Flor de María. Eh, why, no, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? No, 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 no. Why. Why, why are hey. Jane hey. and Anne having lunch? 
They are having lunch mm -hmm. because, ¿por qué? Because, ¿por qué? Ah, because es por qué. Porque él está, cuando le dicen why, es por qué está James y Annie comiendo almuerzo. Ok. Entonces, ustedes ya le dicen, no, mire, ellos están comiendo almuerzo por esto. Uh -huh. Así como la que Consuelo nos acaba de decir. Ahorita me la pregunto a mí, yo. Ya me dijo la primera sería... parte. They're having Ajá. lunch. They're Ajá. having lunch. Ajá. Eh, mediodía. Because. Midday. Midday. Aquí lo tenemos, miren. Aquí está. Because. It's, no sé si fue, let me try. It's not. It's noon. It's noon. Ajá. Yes, because it's noon. It's noon. Uh -huh. Yes. Good job. That's Good job. Noon. Thank you. Yes, that's what it is, you know. That's uh, pretty much what it is, guys. Okay, now. Let's do something. And as I said today, I like to work in speaking a little bit, you know? So we need to practice this right here. So thank you guys. Now let's do something. Now let's work in this exercise. Write five more questions about the pictures. Then ask and answer the questions, uh, your, uh, your questions in groups. We're not going to do it in groups, but right here, but we will do it. Now, just there is one thing. Y hay una cosa que quisiera explicarles antes. Si ven acá, el verbo normal es sleep en, de, en la forma base, base, en la base form. Pero después tenemos sleeping, right? So, ¿qué hacemos? Le agregamos ing, right? Sleep, sleeping. Teacher, pero aquí tenemos get y después dice getting con doble T. ¿Por qué? Why? Well, that is because, y eso es porque si el el verbo o las últimas tres letras del verbo termina en consonant, vowel, consonant, consonante, vocal, consonante, doblamos la última consonante. No, no es que la doblemos a la mitad, sino que le ponemos, ponemos otra de esa misma, ¿ok? So, <ríe> entonces ya no sería solo una T, sino serían dos T's, right? Because we're doubling the last consonant. Get, getting. Y hay otra regla. Cuando el verbo termina en y, que es una E, vamos a remover esa E y vamos a agregar ING. Have, having. Okay? So that's pretty much what we need to do. Now, let's do something. Que no sean, que no sean um, cinco. Escriban two. Two questions. And your notebook. On your notebook. Two uh, questions on your notebook. About these people. What type of questions? WH questions with the present continuous. Let me just reload this. Okay. So I'm going to give you one minute, guys.
Ok. Yes. ¿Quién tiene, ¿Quién tiene una? ¿Quién logró hacer una? Who was able to do one? Anyone? Alguien? Where are uh, Sue and Tom having breakfast? Mm, that's a good one. Where are Sue and Tom having breakfast? ¿Cuál sería una respuesta que podríamos darle? What would be one answer that we can give? Where are Sue and Tom? Right. See, right here. Where are Zoo and Tom having breakfast? Mm -hmm. Where do you think? ¿Qué, qué creen, guys? They are in the restaurant. But where? Where means where? ¿Dónde? Where? Mm -hmm. New York City. Mm -hmm. Ajá, pero no vamos a decir solo New York City. Hay que dar una respuesta. <risa> ¿Ah? ¿Cómo sería, Joana? Um, Sue and Tom are having breakfast in New York City. Are having breakfast. Uh, are. Are having breakfast in New York City. At New York City. Ok, now. Vean, no vimos nada más ahora, chicos, porque yo sé que este es un tema que no está difícil, pero sí tenemos que practicar un poquito, ¿ok? We need to practice a little bit. Entonces, como tarea para ustedes ahí, les queda, traten de ir haciendo ustedes más oraciones, perdón, preguntas, WH questions, with the present progressive, I'm sorry, present continuous, y den las respuestas también. Y asegúrense de seguir las estructuras, ¿ok? Tomorrow we can check the questions if you have one. Um, pero antes de que los deje ir ahorita, chicos, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. I don't know if you have a question or anything. No? Okay. If you don't Una have a question. Una nada más. Rapidito, ah. nada más. Tell me, tell me, Aaron. Es, eh, por ejemplo, yo vi que eh, cuando quisimos contestar este... Esta una, una pregunta en, en uno de los exámenes que está ahí. Uh -huh. La respuesta que tendría que haber sido es su Antón Breakfast, ah. pero solo nos agarraba su Antón nada más. Uh -huh. Sí, yo les decía, cuando les pase eso, traten de tomarle screenshot y también compartirlas en el, en el grupo. Yo estoy al pendiente de eso y estoy ahí diciéndole a Andy, mire, ayúdenos con esto, porque no nos agarra la respuesta y así va. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ok, ok. Sí, yo sé que a veces pasa, pero let's try it out, ok? Well, guys, so I'm gonna leave you right now because I have another class. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. And if you have questions, you can ask me tomorrow as well, ok? So, ok, see you. Bye-bye, guys. Take care. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.